conduct a seated flexion test, you have your patient seated on something and facing away from you with their feet flat on the ground. You'll then find the person's iliac crest and rest your hands on them and let your thumbs just fall down naturally. They should be right on top of the PSIS or the posterior sacral iliac spines. You want to hook your fingers, your thumbs underneath those PSISs and have your patient slowly bend forward with their arms in between their knees. You're then agree noticing that their patient's right side has moved more superiorly upon their bending forward than the patient's left side. This is indicative of a right sacroiliac somatic dysfunction.